I feel pretty bad Hello. for Kevin. Hello. All right. This is gonna. This is a great set. Uh, or going to be. Yeah. Or has been. Or is. Yeah. I'm. This is game one. I'm pretty sure because this just started. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I think um, Zena has uh, a lot of rezone code, man. As far as I know. Yeah. But it doesn't look like he's getting. Like he's losing right now. Yeah. Maybe man. Uh, code man's been in the lab. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah, probably yeah. one of the better matchups for P2. I think, so my theory is that every mid-tier, every low-tier loves it when someone plays Falcon. Like, to a little, a little extent. Maybe not Samus, right? But Okay, it's, it's like, like Samus and I think Mario Brothers. Yeah, Samus and Mario Brothers. But it's like, oh man, like, he might screw me up, but at least I, I can combo him yeah. pretty much as, just as hard. It's true. Oh. Stop, <laughs> stop. Ooh, yep. For, <laughs> for the... He, wow. Then making a bunch of very, very big calls there. Yeah. Oh, that was not supposed to be a forward smash. Yeah, probably not. I like the tech chase. Ooh, that was a smart grab. Codeman's playing very smart right now. Yeah. So I think the biggest read that uh, Xanda was telling me about about Codeman before was that like he likes to retreat and then attack. Mm, but I yeah. think um, Codeman's been mixing up like he does retreat, retreat, then attack, or he'll just attack. Yeah. Right? Um, and that might be throwing off Xanda a little bit. It's true. Oh, and then maybe Xander's not playing so clean as well. Maybe. Yeah, because I've definitely seen Adam go uh, play way better than this. Nice uh, nair by Codeman. He's going to go on the other side of um, on the other Ooh, side of Falcon. But unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, nice up air. Up air. Yeah. There you go. Covers an option. It yeah. Happens to be the correct one. Yeah. Let's see if, uh, I know because like it is still Falcon, right? I mean, Peach is kind of a weird character to combo, but oh, yeah, gosh, okay, never mind. We're gonna side be like that, yeah. Peach is kind of in that weird weight, like chic, right? Yeah, where it's like you, you're not really sure how to necessarily get every hit, right? There is a way, but there it's is. not necessarily guaranteed, yeah. And then, plus, like. If you think about it, so every Falco goes into training mode and plays against level 1 Fox, right? Yeah. But no one goes into le and plays against level 1 Pichu, right? It's true. So it's like, it's such a weird yeah, you're hitbox. Yeah, you're just, you're just kind of trusting on your uh, fundamentals here. Right. Oh. oh, yep. See, that's actually a, I think that's a mix-up, actually, where you yeah. just go hard in, and then he has to space kind of back. Yeah, okay, I actually did, I didn't know that um, Pichu could do that. Because, like, if Puff does that, I think Puff goes straight, like, up. Like, up, up and a little bit behind. Right. So it's like it's kind of a mix up for I think it's a mix up for a lot of characters that they makes can just sense. do that. That makes a lot of sense. Coman playing really well. Ooh, that's but a bad trade. He's just gonna die. Thanks, Pichu. Ooh, yeah. This is a scary situation because you don't want Xana is king of combos. That's true. Mm. I think he could have jumped out there, but that probably would have been kind of bad because I I think that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Also, did you see that wave? Oh yeah, that he's was dead. A pretty, oh, he, oh, he's dead. Amazing. Really solid. I game. think this is game best of three. Best of five, I mean. Yeah. I heard Dreamland. Yeah, that, that would make sense. That's make it really hard for Pichu to kill. I completely agree with this. Actually, I personally would go Yoshi's or Pokemon just because of like stage comfortability, but based off of Adam's ability yeah, to I play think the Adam's game. Just, I think Adam's better with more space. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, hi, V-Fox. 
Oh yes, it's beatbox in the chat. I'm ready for the salty sweet. Oh! Or, I guess it's a spicy sweet. Yeah, the spicy sweet. That'll be fun. Yeah. A bunch of fun minigames planned. Anyway, yeah. um... First talk taking really quickly. I guess, like, one of the problems with this stage is that, like, Pichu lives a little longer, but it, like, not that much longer. It's still Pichu. Yeah. One knee, that's... bad DI at, like, 70% probably will kill. Yeah, that's, uh, what happened earlier. Okay. Yeah, I'm I still wait roll. there. Damn. Tournament winner. Makes Ooh. still works. Oh. Yeah, he misses that tech and just gets stopped for his trouble. I think Co uh, Zen is looking a little sharper and um, Ooh, Code Man's looking a little more flubby. Yeah. I think that's just where this more space comes into mind. Yeah. Also, perhaps the green line is too green for Code Man's eyes and uh -huh. throwing him off a little. The actual color tech is that you switch color based on the stage. For example, if you're playing on. Uh, Battlefield, you just pick whatever black color your character has, and suddenly your opponent can't see you. <laughs> there we go, perfect. Oh, he misses the color counter smash. pick. He's really strong. Kobol, notorious for his color counter picking, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, up air, up air, up knee. Up. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, that won't kill, but that will. Uh, That's a lot. Of oh, that <laughs> might kill. Oh, that was that, crazy. That will kill. That was amazing. That was such a good edge guard. Zen is a great player. Yeah. Okay, nice spacing. Spaces around the nair with a nair. Ooh, yeah, forward air uh, definitely Pichu's first move, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I don't know too much about Pichu's move set. Well, okay, it does seven percent. Pichu takes four percent for it. Sure. I did notice that he did take. Oh, he said. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's the Pichu tricky just air. That was a very commanding eat a commanding for game on Streamland. Soul. That's that's a great idea. I love that. Wait, what? Oh wow. If Soul has to E1 too. Actually, Soul will do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Did you see him at a Jalapeno Smash? He was going in. Mm. Sounds crazy. Codeman taking a little bit of walk. I'm going to assume either he goes to like FD and stays Pichu. I'm assuming he's going uh, FOD, actually. FOD? Okay. Yeah, that would make more sense for me. Sure. FOD. He could also go Falco. His, he has a very clean Falco. But yeah. I would hope that he stays Pichu. Oh, yeah. Uh, he played uh, Falco versus me last uh, monthly. Because, oh yeah. Uh, well, okay, because I took game one off his Pichu. He wasn't ready for Pichu chic. Oh sure, yeah. So that's what he told me after, at least. He just wasn't warmed up enough for that matchup, and I can believe that. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right. Well, okay. I guess he did FB, go. That's fine. Yeah, I mean he has a big chain grab. That's yeah, about it. Yeah, he had a chain grab, but then again, Falcon's so good on this stage. I agree. I think Falcon's very underrated on the stage. People always I agree. think like, oh, like he can't beat. Like Falco here, he must not be good on the stage. It's like no, that's not true. No, yeah, Falcon's pretty good on the stage. Yeah. Oh, okay, he might be dead here. He should yeah, be he dead here. Yeah, he just uh, grabbed the ledge there. Oh no, he messes that up. All right, oh, back no, throw. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah. No, 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 that was greedy. If Xander was like a Fox or Falco, that that uh, neutral B would have covered a lot of options. Oh, nice. Yeah. Zen's definitely not afraid to go out there and just slap Pichu. True. As it sees. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Solid edge guard. Oh, nice read. Oh, he's really calling Ooh, out wow. these ledge. Sorry, yeah. what were you going to say? No, it, it's nothing. It's just a really sure. solid combo. He's, he's really, like, pushing it. Like, look at that. Like, every single thing he's doing is, like, trying yeah. to call out those, those rolls. Yeah. Yeah, so he, like, he, called, he tried to call out that roll too, but I just misspaced it. And the the cool thing is, like, even though he's calling it out, right? Like, let's say Codeman doesn't roll. It's not like he's trying to put Ooh. himself into a bad position or anything. Yeah. I think the only way to really counter it is by wave dashing, like, forward or something, and then letting him land where the roll would be, and then punishing the landing of whatever Xana was doing. But yeah. that's, like, a, a strong call out as well. Yeah, I think there, Codeman actually could have just done a single up beat. Oh, yeah. Grab ledge. Sure. And that probably would have been better than oh. the two. That's also a call out on the roll, actually. Yeah. I think that's a better call out on the roll, actually, because if uh, it's great in the tech chase, because if you uh, can cover like three options yeah. at the very least. Definitely. Ooh. Wow, he's yeah. playing really well. Yeah. And um, Codeman's kind of Windmills to knee. That's a windmills good to knee. Yeah, air wobbles. Yeah. Sorry, Jason. Oh, no jump. Oh, wow. I, I guess he tried to DI up. Anyway. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe if he. I don't know. I thought he still had enough mobility off the uppy, but oh. just barely not, I guess. I really like how the way um, Zen mixes up. Either he's gonna like do a fade back one single hop or single full hop, or he like does a really late double jump and then lands and fades. Like everything he does is like very safe. Uh, he plays a very controlled, methodical Falcon. Yeah. So Coldman uh, was interesting to know that every time he fell down there, he didn't roll. Oh yeah. A s not a single time. Every time it was either get up attack or in place. Discipline. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice, nice that fade. That was a really smart fade. It's funny because he didn't really need it. Because well, like, no, I, I think he needed it because then he would have gotten punished again. But uh, because yeah. of the ledge, he didn't get punished. No, but it's like because Coldman was so close to the ledge. It almost seems terrifying to go to the ledge, but that's kind where of, the double, yeah. the level three comes in. Yeah. Because like I know you're gonna do it. I I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Because he got up, it was just a really good recognition. Yeah. That he wasn't gonna go back. I don't really agree with not going back, but Kobe may prove me wrong. I think like he didn't get like a, m a million hit combos off of FD, and a player like Xana is gonna thrive on like this big open neutral only stage. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, this is where he needs to really do a lot of damage. Oh, he could have just uh, gotten another grab there. Like he he did like what? Like 15% there? That's unfortunate. I mean, yeah, oh. he could have continued it as a thing. Yeah. You really have to make the most out of your grabs. Out of every single hit as a lower tier character. Wow, he reads the jump in with a knee in place. I think Xana's um Sometimes when I watch Zen, I, it's, it's very clear to me that he's uh, an old school player. Um, in that, I think new school players, because of the, like all the advancements in tech, they'll do things that are like really tech and flashy, even yeah. though they can't like fully grasp every single aspect of their play. But if right. you watch like Zen's Falcon, it's like a very distilled version of Falcon, and he understands his yeah, options very, like, like very. Yeah. Like I'll he's not doing anything open. really fast, right? Yeah. Just smart things. Yeah. I think that's just one of the things about Falcon is that he's a very uh, fundamental based character. Yeah. Because he doesn't have a ton of gimmicks. He just has a really solid punish game. He can have a lot of gimmicks if you want him to have a lot of gimmicks, but... <laughs> like, the way I play him is very gimmicky, I think. I mean, what, like, specific would you, like, call particularly gimmicky? Um... Like, I would say even, like, tech chasing with, like... I, like, don't... I don't know. Like, not... Or read-based tech chasing a lot of the time. Um, a lot of Falcons will, like always stomp tech in place after down the throw or me like I like to side be the back of people's shields I like mean, it's, it's, it's weird it's, that's that's still kind of fundamental right because if you get the read it's a good option okay it yeah, works that's true. still that's true I guess like, yeah I think like gimmicky options have like a clear uh, like counter to them sure right nice. in the sense that like uh, a, a shine uh Edgeguard is kind of gimmicky. Yeah, okay, it actually has a very good point because, like, it's calling out a very specific thing, and the moment you learn, like, oh, he's calling out my double jump, I'll just double jump backwards or not yeah. at all. Like, yeah. Okay, Or nice. a stomp can still work on every other option. Yeah. You just have to, it's based on uh, a smash? spacing, basically. Because Tornado's gonna up smash there. Ooh, that's, I love, really like yeah. the dash deck. Because it just covers the ledge, and he didn't have any other options. Agreed. Oh, wow, three, he's winning three stocks to one. I don't know yeah. how I missed this. He's just uh, really pushing his uh, chain grabs the last couple stops. If Codeman wins this game, uh, lots of respect because yeah. sometimes when you lose on your counter pick, you you think like, okay, maybe I should rethink my game plan. But it takes uh, big gets to stick to your game plan. Yeah, I think he could have uh, done another nair there, and it would have ended it. Probably. His combo game really being stepped up, and he's not falling for his Xana's tricks as much. Yeah. Okay. Xana still really trying to call these rolls. Oh, yeah, he gets hit off his nair? Okay. He could have just ended it right there. He yeah. just held it. I don't really agree with the um, down throw. I feel like up throw nair. Or up throw. Oh. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Really good that awareness. That's hilarious. That's so funny. I feel like at this percent, up throw up air knee. Or up throw knee. Yeah. But on the other hand, you have to get a grab there. And if no. Codeman's looking, if he oh. just to grab. Alright, game five. Good stuff to Codeman. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if Codeman can do it. I want to see the Pichu. Even though I really like Adam Selkin. I think Adam 
will not be happy if he loses. He is, he's yep. mentioned to me that he doesn't like the idea of... Um, so it's like when you're a top player in a region, right? Especially yeah. Xana, who has been a top player for like so, so, so long. Yeah. Um, the idea that like people are always rooting for you to lose. Always kind of. really happy when... Or not always, right? I guess... It, but like yeah. everyone's really happy when they beat him, right? So like, let's say I beat him. I'd be really pumped. And yeah. if Xana beats me, he doesn't get pumped, right? Like there's yeah. no reason to. And that kind of thing kind of like drains uh, top players. So kind of. I'm hoping that when he moves to Seattle, uh, he'll find new new grounds to play yeah. in. That being said, I still feel like Adam doesn't put too much pressure on himself. To play. Oh yeah. I don't because uh, I was talking to Adam yesterday after the tournament, and he said that he uh, almost never really feels pressured. That he nev he's never been nervous in tournament in oh, a long cool. time. I feel like uh, he. I feel like also that a little bit stems from his like priority on teams. I think he really cares a lot more about teams sure. than anything else. Makes sense. I also think it stems from the fact that he has been playing Smash since like 2003 or something. Mm. Like especially yeah. tournament Smash. <laughs> like. But yeah, that's kind of important. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. He takes a free two percent. <laughs> yeah. But that's fine. Ooh, oh, that was this a is really, really solid. Good. Okay, really nice. Yeah, good jab reset. But this stage, is, I think, is pretty good. So this is really solid for Falcon right now because he gets to take off the tree. Yeah, I agree. And he can still uh, get stuff off uh, the tree if Codeman bounces off or takes it. I find this so funny as well. P PG just got three up airs on Falcon. If that was Fox, he would have taken like 30%. And he took 6% yeah. from those no, three yeah, up airs. Pichu's, Pichu's and Pikachu's up air are both uh, really strong utility moves, but really like uh, weak moves. Right. Like uh, Pichu's uh, unstaled up air does like 3%. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, so it's really more for just uh, juggling your opponent and getting other uh, resets and leading into other options. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Wow. That was good. Okay. We have it's still a new game. Well, it's good that Zen doesn't feel nervous because if I was playing Falcon right now, I'd be hella nervous. <laughs> yeah. Regrab. I like it. I think it's really funny too. Like sometimes when you're getting like torment nerves, you tell yourself like, "All right." Normal people will get nervous right now, so I just need to not get nervous. Yeah. But now, by doing that, you're already thinking, so overthinking, like, the position. A right? little bit, yeah. If that makes sense. Like, so you'll still be nervous because you're, like, thinking so much about not being nervous. Uh, it's, like, a weird mix-up on your on yourself. Yeah. Kind of agree. Because that's, uh, I think I kind of was uh, thinking that myself during the last uh, game of my set against Lumpur. Yeah, Fire. isn't that, a, it's dumb, right? It's like, alright, all I have to do is play cool, and I can win this. Yeah. But. I think it was... But I think it was more like, uh, for me earlier, I think it was more like, wow, I'm here. What did I do to get here? And then I was like thinking, like doubting myself, like, how did I get here? Oh, right. Yeah, I'm like, mm, that I shouldn't be here in my head. And that's huh? kind of bad. Yes, that's not the that's not the place you want to be in in the lower seed, right? Yeah. The lower seed wants to be like, I can win this. And yeah. actually, this is, this is really tight. Yeah. This is really doable for both players. Okay. Really solid spacing from Adam. Yeah, he's not losing oh. sight of his game plan. Yeah, that was a. I think that was a missed all cancel. That this could back. be big for the tournament. Actually, this could determine whether yeah. Lumble has a free winners finals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, this could be important. No offense to Coman, but uh, Adam made it look good yesterday. Oh, Coman yeah. playing really well. That's oh, he might. Me? I was thinking me. Oh, oh he's dead. there you go. Oh, so close. Cody could have had it. That, oh. was, that was a really good set. There's a little bit of a Hail Mary. Um, Conan misses his edge cancel, I yeah. believe. Well, I don't know who I'm playing. I'll these the bracket. 